Hey YouTube, before this video starts, just want to remind you to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below for the algorithm. Okay, bye! Hey, what's going on YouTube 2? Sketchy coming at you. Welcome to a little title called Despot's Game. Uh, think of it as a, a roguelike meets a totally accurate battle simulator. In a sense where we create chaotic armies and face off against the AI. This is the demo to the game, by the way, which is, it looks absolutely fantastic. Well, you'll see in a second, but you can wishlist this. So a quick shout out to the developers for allowing us to play the demo earlier than the full release. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get this started, shall we? Finally, after many have failed, uh, I've managed to summon you, so, so now there's a chance at least. You are the chosen one. Only you can save the doomed world. Lul gets me every time. In truth, you're just one more puny human about to perish in my dungeon's tunnels. Okay, interesting. Cool, cool, cool. I really like the art style in this, by the way. Um, if you don't want to meet a boring death in the very first room and would rather try a more ingenious one deeper in the maze, you'll need weapons. The shop is in front of you. Choose. Okay, so we can uh, choose a dark mantle, we can choose a first aid kit, uh, another dark mantle, or uh, one puny human. Buy as many as you want. They're pathetic anyway. <laughs> okay, uh, or we can reroll and or upgrade. Hmm, is this our money by the way? I don't know. We have five humans, we have... Okay, I think this is our money. And then who knows what this is? Oh, it's a level of zoom. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to get a dark mantle because that sounds cool. Uh, to put it on, hold the left mouse button and drag it onto the human. Hello. Ooh, now he's evil. Buy more items and, and a couple of new humans too. There's no reason to hold on to your tokens. Then press the green door to move. Okay. Green door. Time to move on, huh? All right, so let's go get some more humans. Sure. And then we can get another dark mantle and uh, a first aid kit. Why not? So we're going to put another dark mantle on here and going to give him a first aid kit. So he's a medic now. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, and if you have a certain amount, they'll probably do different things. Kind of like, look at that. Receive the call of Cthulhu ability. Different abilities levels require three to four people. Interesting. All right. So let's go ahead and press the green door. <gasps> we can buy another human before we do that. All right, let's go ahead. How cool is this? The spot was here. All right, hooray, fight. Uh, to prepare for it, you can change the placements of your puny human. Select one, then click the right mouse button on the free tile within the placement range. Okay, so we can click him. Oh, we can't. So we can have a front line of bad boys. And then, you know what, put the medic right there. Surround, surround, surround thinking tactically here uh actually hold on you need to go like right here cool all right i'm ready um the fight happens automatically when you're ready press the fight in the bottom corner uh in case you missed it okay go ahead what is this a cicada it killed my medic already <laughs> oh when they die it stuns my my tiny stupid little humans Victory. Well, some some died uh, on your side, but whatever. It's collateral. Stock up, fight, press the door. Enough for now, but stay tuned. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab just a sword. A harquebus? These are pretty expensive. I can only get two of them, which I am going to get two of them. Um, go ahead and go ahead. Turn these guys into really cool gunner men. Gunner people. All right, that's it. We don't have a lot of humans left. We're gonna need to buy some more humans. And this is where the roguelike elements come in, right? Um, I guess, I guess we just sent these guys in the front lines, spread these guys out a bit, medic in the back, another human here, and uh, fight. I kind of want to see their HP bar. Ooh, what is that? Intimidation. Shooters have a 10% chance to cast fear and attacks for two seconds. So long as the opponent's attack is lower, I'll take that. Ooh, so this is a macro upgrade. Oh, that's really neat. Frugality. 50% chance to loot an item back when a human dies. Here are the mutations you buy for tokens. Invest in the mutations, invest in a steady future. Interesting, a random item in every shop is 20% cheaper. All right, so those those are the macros. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and continue. It looks like we are going to approach some sort of food section soon. So a big bad guy is gonna spawn right there. How far can we actually put these people? That far? Okay. This is really cool. I really like this. All right, this feels good. Do we use this? No, it just kind of happens. Okay, fight. I really want to see that HP bar. Oh, the medic's healing him. <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, let me see really fast if we can actually see HP bar. Always show tutorial. Always show HP bars. Yes, apply. That is so much more helpful. Like actually, so much more helpful. Um, we're gonna get some more humans. And we're going to get one of each of these and two more humans. I feel like the humans should stay in the background. The ones that are not used in combat. They should just stay in the back. So they don't die off. Because we, we want to, you know, put them to use eventually. We just don't have the means to right now. Alright, that's just a little guy. All my gunners on this side. All my dark mages over here puny little humans here and a medic to heal whoever needs healing i like how it tells you uh what they do and the more you have i suppose the the higher the heals right so right here we can have one out of two healers unless you can level them up interesting i, l I love the hp bar hp bar helps actually buy three food for three tokens or buy two food buy three food and this one so what is this what is this for your humans are hungry armor lower and damage okay how how do we make them do we just make them eat oh we do there's literally a survival aspect to this interesting the boss is next by the way oh that's what it seems like uh is there any way we can go back to the shop and buy stuff that we might have missed doesn't look like it okay so let's just go ahead and fight the boss. Uh, we're going to set these guys up. Oh, this is the box. I see. I see. I see. I could. I couldn't. I don't know. I couldn't make out what the box was. I see it now. This is a bit finicky sometimes. Okay, gunners in the back. Like that. Medics in a way, way rear. Humans all the way off to the side. Let's go ahead and fight the boss. Who seems crazy looking. He has a lot of HP. And he's not dealing much damage. Never mind. Everyone's on fire. <laughs> he's half health. The medic has died. The mages are tanking. The humans have died now. The only ones alive are our special characters. And hopefully... Yay. Oh, are they... Did they just level up? Is that what that means? So does that mean, hold on, I think they are, they level up, this is awesome, what does this button do, <laughs> dude, as they move to the next level, humans come across an odd gentleman, he's wearing a blue suit and holding a briefcase, sorry, <clears throat> you, yes, you, Tom, you're coming with me, I'm low on agents, uh, what is the world coming to? Freeman eaten by zombies. Alex splattered by a giant tentacle robot. 153 agents gone already. So, you coming? Uh, let one human go with a strange man. Dude, just be on your way, will you? Or do you want to be hit in the head with a fridge? Yeah, I'll, I'll say that. Do you even know who I am? Every school student used to have a theory about my identity in the 2000s. And the zeros? <laughs> That's it. I can't take it anymore. I'm resigning. A gentleman, the gentleman throws the briefcase at the nearest human and disappears. Victoria dies on the spot. Wait, what? And you find 20 tokens in the briefcase. No! Whatever, we'll buy a new one. <laughs> we'll buy more humans. We can get a ton of humans, by the way. What is this? Dude? Yoga pants. Uh, that thing. And the periodic table. And more humans. Actually, maybe not that many. Uh, I'm gonna equip you with this. I'm gonna equip you with this. I'm gonna equip you with yoga pants, and you get this thing. All right, what are you now? Is that just a table? Are you just hiding behind a table? 
<laughs> oh, taunt. Got it. To activate this ability, you need two more humans for this class. Okay. So he's just a tank. <laughs> I like how he just scoots across with the table. That is hilarious. And then you are yoga pants guy, which you have an ability. Well, we need two of them, though. Uh, three fire just form a link to six or nine allied units. 30% 50% chance to receive uh, the spread among those units. Interesting. That's just kind of weird. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more humans. Why not? We, have, we might have way too many humans. Um, maybe not enough money to buy some upgrades, but we'll see. There's a question mark in the next room. Holy moly, that's a lot of people. Fight! They're just zombies, though. We should be able to watch that. Oh, look at that! That's from uh, Mortal Kombat, actually. That's a cool reference. Connor Tyson. Um, Rocky Gloves. <gasps> Rabbit in a hat. You can be a magician now. Go ahead and put the Rocky Gloves on this guy. And then a magician on this guy. <laughs> what does the magician do? Thunderbolt and lightning? Very frightening. And then you. Three fighters. Okay, so this is considered a fighter. So we need three of these. I understand. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and uh, head to the next room. The mystery room. Can't bear any more. Don't you dare. One more push. Ah! Damn it. Another zombie bites the dust. Zombie aren't known for durability. What is going on here? Isn't it obvious? I was charging the battery, but the zombie part of the machine broke. The, there's a lab with T-virus samples on this level. Bring me one, and I'll shower you in gifts. You want me to bring you a virus that turns people into bloodthirsty monsters? To frighten a poor slave into producing power? I'll give you 30 tokens. So, where did you say this lab was? Uh, I've marked it on your map. I'll be waiting. Okay. Cool. Uh, we are moving on <laughs> to find whatever virus this guy is looking for. Is there food here? No, there isn't. We might lose a lot of humans, by the way. If you haven't fed your humans in a while, they have lower attacks. Oh, yeah, that's right. We've got to feed. Go ahead. Go ahead. Eat. Whoops. Not enough food. You can convert some of your humans into meat by setting them into the sacrificial pit. It's not obli obli oblig obligatory. Sorry. Big word for me for now. But your humans grow hungry. They won't be able to move. Then you have to convert them to sausage. What can I say? Meat is meat. Okay. So we can just move them here. And he's going to turn into meat uh you turn into meat <laughs> what how much until we can eat uh i don't want to waste any more people they're all useful maybe you uh okay maybe that's enough for now hopefully uh okay the tank's gonna die i think oh, actually oh no, we good. Sheesh. Okay, let's go ahead and get some food. There we go. Okay. I don't know what the food... I don't know what the food means. Honestly. I don't know how many we need to be... Food. One human consumes one unit. Oh, okay. So we need ten food to be able to feed everyone. And we can't feed some. We have to feed all. That's what it seems like, at least. Oh, wow. We are... This is a completely different zone. Or combat zone let's take a let's, let's try to take care of one side first uh fight oh god this is the wrong side to take care of first oh no we're losing people the guy's crazy looking we leveled up uh i kind of want to see what's going on over here before we leave can i can we can we go over here yeah i don't want to leave yet i would like to farm as much as we can uh, yeah, go ahead. Fight it out. It's just zombies. I think we can handle them. Uh, next up is whatever this is. I haven't seen this room before. Two big boys? Uh-oh. Oh, we're fine. We're not even losing anyone. Level threes, huh? Mutations? Oh, we can just choose one? No matter what? Eggheads receive... What do you mean by eggheads? We don't have any eggheads. 
sure? Who are eggheads? Weird. Uh, there's more food here. So we don't really need the food right now. I do I do want to check out what this icon means. What do we got going on? Whoa. That's a ton of zombies. I think we're okay, though. That's a lot of skeletons. All right. So we can get a fridge. We can get a spirit mask. We can get some more humans, which we definitely need a few of. Grab all this. Uh, I'm going to grab a few more humans because we have all that money. And then we're going to give you a spirit mask. We're going to give you a spirit mask. You can turn yourself into a medic. You are a fridge and another tank. So all these should be tanks. We have two tanks, essentially. Uh, wish we had three, but the other one died. You fall back. Medic heal him up. What, is it? what do these spirit mask people do? Let's see. At the start of a fight, every three cultists... Oh, it's a, it's a cultist. They summon one to two tentacles? That's awesome. What does the magician do again? Uh, deals damage. Uh, thunder and lightning. Got it. You know what I just realized? Getting a lot of humans sucks. Because you're going to have to feed them all. And I just got a lot of humans. <laughs> This is bad. I love how they're running around as an army, though. Wee! Darkus, stop before you go. Tell me, how many cars can you see in these images? Uh, what is this stupid test? The image disappears. Three figures emerge from the dark. Their faces are filled with either wisdom or blissful ignorance, depending on your interpretation. Thank you for the answer. I know that you are all likely human. Uh, my name is Darkus. Your kind has wronged my people in the past, but now we may be on one side. Just tell me one more thing. Victoria, what is freedom to you? Freedom is an option, not answer stupid questions. Freedom is being like a river flowing freely into infinity. Freedom is the absence of necessity, coercion, and constraint. Cho okay, I like the river part. I like your answer, human. Let us brave this maze together. Two members of intelligent races fighting unknown dangers. Three people join your team. It's likely they're not androids. Just insane. Oh, we have three more people. Perfect. I cannot wait to do nothing with them since I don't have any money. And we're going to have to feed all these animals. Yikes. Fight. <laughs> Please give me money. Big robot thing. I think we're doing well, right? Somebody just leveled up. All right, we got 12 coins. Not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and head back here and buy some of these. I think we can buy this, right? Or do they just disappear? <gasps> they just disappear afterwards? Oh no, they say we're gonna starve to death, by the way. Humans, I'm so sorry, but now you're gonna have to get sacrificed. I know. So wait, we need 18. Well, it's going down, so. Oh, this is so brutal. All these humans that we got? 13, 13. Perfect. Wow. This is this is pretty brutal, actually. So you need the same amount of people you need food for. Yeah, there's no uh There's no way around that, but uh that is a pretty harsh mechanic. Definitely where the roguelike aspect lives. Besides that, also the uh, the fact that we are continuously utilizing. Oh gosh, I, just, I didn't mean to press that button. Continuously utilizing the humans that we gather throughout the fights seems very roguelike as well. And there's there seems to be a little bit of a story happening. Sadly, this is only a, our first run, so we're not optimized. So I don't really know what to expect. But there's definitely moments I would have not bought as many humans and uh probably bought more food since we're sacrificing a lot of them but this is a really cool mechanic I, I, i'm really enjoying this let's go ahead and fight these guys oh we could have set them up in different areas that's interesting there's that way too many robots here i think this is going to be our demise wow that robot actually knocked everyone back as well sheesh i think this is going to be the end of our run 
But we actually get to keep the items. Huh. Defeat. Try again. Choose class skills and items carefully. Look for synergies and but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have rage quit. <laughs> Go back to the main menu. If you if you enjoyed this, do let me know in the comment section down below. This is a really fun game and I think I think it's gonna be really cool once this is fully released. Anyways, my name's Just Sketchy, and I'm out. Peace!